under the leadership of the Honorable Prime Minister, the country has witnessed an economic miracle in the last seven years. From agriculture to education, <laughs> aviation to railways, IT to BT, soil to space. In every segment of the country's national life, the Prime Minister has ushered in a complete transformation. The kind of economic progress the country has witnessed in the last seven years, the pace of reforms is also unprecedented. The numbers are there to give more clarity on that. However, Speaker, sir, the political commentariat speaks very highly of the 1991 budget and describes it as the budget which opened the doors for India's economic growth. One must keep in mind that the 1991 budget and the reforms that were introduced therein were made at a time of economic compulsion. The reforms that were brought in then were not as a result of the government's conviction for economic reforms. The difference between then and all the four budgets that Honorable Finance Minister Srimati Nirmala Sitaramanji has presented is that the economic reforms introduced in the last four budgets that she has presented is very dedicatedly, concertedly a result of the conviction of the government to introduce economic reforms. And it would not be an exaggeration when I say that when the history of modern India is written, India's history can be viewed as a before Modi era and a after Modi era. The numbers are so clear as to the kind of comprehensive transformation that the country has witnessed. When Honorable Member of Parliament from Vainad was uh, speaking about the idea of two Indias, perhaps this should have been the two Indias that he, sh he should have elaborated upon. That before Modi, there was a different kind of India, and after Narendra Modi, there is a different kind of India. And let me, ex let me elaborate on what is the difference. Before Modi, the country was witnessing double-digit infl inflation. We were considered to be among the fragile five economies of the world. After Modi, the country has consistently seen single-digit inflation, and we are today the fastest growing major economy in the world. This is the two Indias that we must be seeing. Before Modi, India's GDP, the size of India's GDP was 110 lakh crore. After Narendra Modi, the size of India's GDP is 230 lakh crore. This is the two Indias that we must be proud. This is the two Indias that have changed. Before Narendra Modi, India's exports were at 2.85 lakh crore. After Narendra Modi, India's exports are now at 4.70 lakh crore. Nobody can deny these facts. India's foreign reserves before Modi ji was $275 billion. After Modi ji, India's foreign reserves is at $630 billion. In every aspect of macroeconomic uh, measurement, whether it is foreign exchange reserves, whether it is FDI, whether it is inflation, India after Narendra Modi has consistently performed better than what it was under the rule of the dynasts of the Congress. This is something that is very clearly established. The, I am elected by the people of the country with as much right as a dynast sitting in this hall to speak on behalf of the people and the, and the numbers that I am quoting, sir, the numbers that I am quoting, sir, are sacrosanct. They come from the sources of government. Sir, before Narendra Modi, before Narendra Modi, the poor of this country were left to fend for themselves. This was the reality that the poor of the country were facing. But after Narendra Modi, sir, we today have 44.8 crore people who came for the first time inside the formal banking system through the Jandan accounts. For last 70 years, can we imagine? We are speaking of inclusive development, sir. Last 70 years, 
close to 45 crore people were not even part of the country's formal banking system. And these people lecture today on Sabka Saad, Sabka Vikas to us. The first time in the country's history, sir, first time in the country's history, sir, nine crore households have got tap water. Sit down, take आपके पास आपके पास 70 साल थे सर 70 साल थे आपके पास इन 70 इयर्स इफ द प्राइम मिनिस्टर हैज टू कम इन 2014 एंड डिलीवर 9 क्रोर हाउस होल्ड्स टैप वाटर फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम इट स्पीक्स इट रीक्स ऑफ द काइंड ऑफ करप्शन दैट वाज देयर रैंपेंट करप्शन दैट वाज देयर ड्यूरिंग योर रेजीम एंड दिस इज द ओल्ड इंडिया द टू इंडियास दिस वाज द ओल्ड इंडिया दैट वाज देयर द इंडिया दैट यू रूल्ड सर वेदर इट इज डीबीटी whether it is UPI, whether it is Jan Aushadhi Kendras, every single matrix of governance very clearly established that the Prime Minister has established in this country transparent systems, accountable governance, and clear and committed governance structures. This is the difference between pre-Modi days and after Modi days, sir. Sir, I come from Bengaluru, the startup capital of the country. Before Narendra Modi, sir, the country had only 500 registered startups. After Narendra Modi's governance, sir, the country today has more than 65,000 startups, of which, of which 41 plus unicorns came, uh, became unicorns during the pandemic. This shows the kind of resilience, the talent, the capability that Prime Minister Narendra Modi's governance has unleashed in the country. This is the two India, sir. The India before Narendra Modi has stifled entrepreneurship. The India before Narendra Modi ji had, had curbed the entrepreneurial spirit of India. It has shackled economic freedoms of the people. The India after Narendra Modi ji has unleashed the talent of our people, the talent of our young people, and India today is an economy on the rise, sir. This is something that needs to be established time and again.